So yeah, I didn't really do my homework. I didn't even ask Canis for what he would change exactly. I know he wanted to play a basic, uh, mostly for the initiative deck and endurance. Endurance was pretty okay for me. Surgical was the nuts. Could just be some main deck surgicals over blood gas. I mean, these blood gas could be anything. I'm sure collector roof could be, you know, collector roof force of vigor. Blood gas. All right, chat. Who plays Luris in, in Vintage? Someone hook me up. This guy. Sometimes was Breach. So I'm assuming this hand's not very good because it doesn't have Bazaar and Collector. It's just not that great against them. All right, pretty solid hand, I guess. Can just get rid of the powder. Keep bottom serum powder. All right, thanks, Lord Beerus. Well, that's not very fair. Guess I got to land that to basically ancestral recall. Very first turn, lose the Daryl, put in leads with ancestral recall. Rude. Oh, why you gotta be so rude? Let's see who Pigeon arrived. Jose did, Adam did, Lord Beerus Pigeon arrived, Father Frodo Pigeon arrived. Ancestral Black Lotus. Okay. Not very cool, but... Still heavy, I guess. Stick another root wall. Hmm, not the greatest start. Let's see. Discard Lotus. Discard Root Walla. Discard a Cradle. Good upkeep force of bigger lotus. Seems all seems like a heavy commitment though. Cast once upon a time on their turn. Why? Because of force of negation. Yesterday I made a nice eight liter batch of homemade beef stock. Do not add anything other than carrots. Yeah, I don't do my own stock. It's a little too much for me. Third path. Who knows? Maybe I was supposed to force a bigger black lotus there. Who knows if it's getting better? Can force up bigger tokens, Spock Champ. This is looking quite bad for me. Okay, no wasteland. Yeah, it is two cards, too bizarre. True. I mean, obviously, that's a big reason why I didn't do it. Who knows? So I might just cast once upon a time next turn. And Arcanus with Ancestral Recall. I have no ways to stop it. Okay, at least I can try and counter it. Can cast a collector roof. Would be better than just a wasteland for now. Let's see. I guess Force of Vigor ship has probably sailed. I guess I need to try and win with Sex Drinker maybe. 
try and build up a board. Yavi Maya Cradle can probably go. And then once upon a time, we're collector oof number two. Probably have a bunch of removal. You know, that's straight up a collector oof. This game's looking a little grim. Attacking first. I mean, they might just chum lock. Don't seem worth it. Yeah, I guess casting oof was all a bit of a waste of mana. Oh, they're missing on a lot of damage here. Alright, please don't have a counter. Pinch vine or root wall? Uh, I mean, your root walls are cool and all, but I need to start doing some bench vine stuff. This came to have a chance. X drinker too. X drinker is going to be all slow this game, though. I just grab a bench vine and hope to get lucky. Guess I need the blocker and it's not very good, but <clears throat> this game's probably over. <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah, I mean this is where I wish that blood gas was a squee. Oh upkeep stop, thank you. That blood gas what a squee, I would feel a bit better about my chances. We'll see. Feels like they just need a sword to blow sure here. This white man has sword to blow sure and I'm done. Well, here's the white mana. No, I don't have Hogak in the list. There's like a bunch of cards you can play. Why Iconoclast? It triggers of Mox. Triggers of non-creature spells, not just incident sorceries. Are we dealing with the Sea of Tokens? I don't think we are. Trying to not die for now and figure something out later. Looks like they have a uh, sorry to pull a share. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. To start, I guess. I also don't know why these tokens are not attacking. <laughs> kind of weird. I save it? Try and bring back Benchmine? I need the blockers. I'll keep the blood guest around for the mana. Oh, I need to...
Alright, I guess I'll attack. Get a token out of the way. I am just very, very dead. They're playing kind of slow. Those games could be pretty grindy. They went turn one and Sessual Recall Lotus, so and they were on the play. And my opening hand was fine, but nothing special. Man, they're playing so conservatively. It's insane. Okay, so one of the lists I found has Crypt and Tabernacle in the sideboard. Looks like that's pretty standard, pretty stock. What are they playing? They're playing just, just guy control. I'll show you something along these lines. There's good, good spell, sword for removal, card advantage. Seems like should be a decent matchup. Got the Laris. Yeah. Took down the Laris with me. All right, let's see. Surgical, not very good. Kakas could be okay. I did disconnect. It looks like they're restarting. This member seems pretty good. Endurance could be okay. <clears throat> they probably have some bubbles in their list. One list has two. The other has four. Tabernacle. Oh, they have Crypt too. Force of Vigor seems pretty bad. This member seems pretty good. Oof, Dev Bubble and Crypt after sideboards. Oof seems solid. Chakas would be for Monkey. Old Narrow. Basic Forest. No need. So, uh, kind of want to bring in these Endurance. Dev Treasure Cruise and whatnot. Or Serum. It lets you mulligan and stuff it's pretty it's like in every bizarre vintage deck one endurance yeah i think i like the blood gas in this matchup you have like some blockers for it but first mute first cough up the stream don't want more endurance is the question like Endurance or Collector Oof, I guess. Or Hex Drinker or some of the lands I could trim. Like Besage is probably nothing special, right? Besage you can probably go. I think I'll keep both Oof on the play. Hmm, let's see. I have kind of an interesting hand, actually, for a non-bizarre hand. Having once upon a time to find it. And if I don't, I have, like, X Drinker into Double Wastelands. Wow. What are my odds? Top five? Like an 8% chance every time. Like, if probably like 33% find a bazaar. A 
Let's see if I don't find Bazaar was once upon a time. I could find. Can I win if I miss? Uh, turn one collector oof is probably pretty good against them. Um... Again, like hard cast creature, I can go like. Yeah, turning off my own mox is kind of annoying, but could be okay. Potter Hex Drinker. Sin, I wouldn't say this hand leads to turn one swords. I mean, I have double wasteland. That could. Uh... I think I'm going to keep. I could also force my once upon a time. But even if they do that, too bad this root wall is not the other one, because then I could go like turn one, double one drop. Follow one root wall. Well, there's a the second hex drinker. Oh, and my upkeep. Oops. I think that's a pretty solid start, especially against a mulligan. Thanks, Drink Sir, kind of unimpressive. It wasn't super great for me in the one league I played. It was fine. I don't know, I'm, I think this is a good start, honestly. I mean, I'm glad I kept in hindsight. We'll see if. Uh, two out of two games. Turn one Ancestral Recall. Ooh, no Mox for Lotus this time. Very nice. Wow, I could hard cast a Ventrine. It's probably worse than just Wasteland and level up, right? It's only protection from incense, right? All right, things are getting a little scary. Do they need like white mana plus ending or sword plus a counter for my misstep? And that's another reason why my keep was good. It was good against turn one tabernacle. Didn't even really think about that when I kept. Tabernacle in their icon class. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're willing to... Uh... To pay the price. When I see Canister play this matchup, it looks really bad for Bazaar. Yeah, game one, my deck did not look good, but they had turn on Ancestral Black Lotus, so. Right, the good news is, even if they somehow deal with that, I can still draw Bazaar for some busted turn, some one shot kill. Did you see my keep, Adam? I kept a non Bazaar hand. But I think it was good. Oh, uh, but Seju does get rid of. Tabernacle, but so uh, what cost? Bad matchup for Bazaar, just don't play Bazaar. 
All right, on the draw, who knows? Do I want the chalice or not? We didn't see a single bubble in two games. I'll be right back, chat. That was probably good still. <clears throat> who knows, maybe the games go a little long, stops Alaris, stops their top decks. Question is, do I want more, uh, more lands? Not too worried about Ragavan. I could have just more Osage to pay for Tabernacle and stuff. Um, I think I want Collector and Chalice and the Hex Drinkers. There's not much I want to board out. It's like Endurance or Bosejou. Not a Bosejou over Chalice. Mm. Not Bosejou over Endurance. Let's do that. I think Chalice is fine. That's a pretty bad hand, even if I hit Bazaar once upon a time. Um. Hmm. Turn one Mox. Root Walla. I mean, this deck does not mulligan to five very well. Okay. But it's not even that great of a hand if I hit, uh, if I hit Cradle, mulligan, I guess. Lots of hands. That just happened. What do I bottom? Triple hollow one. Two. Man, they could just have tabernacle though. Trade of endurance and dismember. Sounds reasonable. Bottom one, hollow one, because I can't play all three. I can definitely play all three. I'm going to get Tabernacle 100%, but oh well. Uh, what do I want is it? So let's see. They basically need Tabernacle to win. I keep Cradle. I can at least... Be the top deck tabernacle. Endurance only good if I keep cradle and tabernacle. And then dismember. Is it worse playing cradle turn on? I don't know, man. I guess I'll keep the cradle. Maybe it's on turn two. We'll see. We'll see what they do on turn one. The thing is, they can they have wasteland in their deck too. They could just waste my cradle. Easy clap. Three out of three games. Turn one ancestral and Black Lotus to go. Is it in two of the games? And I lost a die roll too. Hey Daniela, thanks for the resub. Oh well. Let's get high rolled. What can you do? Probably no tabernacle. I mean, they don't care. They would play that way even in the top two. They'd play that way, that tabernacle. So they play Wasteland, they're not playing Tabernacle. 
I'm probably just keep cradle right. Did I play them all? What are forcing? Well, I guess I'm playing them all. Could argue to keep one, I guess. Who knows? They might just wasteland and then never get to cast it again. They might be able to just beat me with Furt Path without Tabernacle. Like maybe I should have kept Dismember over Cradle. We got Tarper Orb out of shops. What are we playing initiative? Snag Beaks Trample, yeah. Vigor. Wonder. Yeah, I mean I was I was really thinking about dismember over cradle, but Cradle's probably gonna be good. Good chalice for one. Most of their deck cost one. I mean, chalice for one destroys us, but also destroys them. And I can just cycle my zero mana cards. I get the tokens, but they run out of cards. Do you have Lurus Black Lotus soon? Like they're pretty close to just Lurus Black Lotus. I don't know if I can beat that. Two turns away, but my clock's not that fast. Oh, I think this game's pretty lost. Uh, three cards in hand, land Lurus, Lurus Lotus, can I win without casting one mana spells? I mean, I can still bring back Venge Finds, I guess, I just don't get the one mana spells. Yeah, I guess just casting an oof. I could draw this member too still, just need to slow them down a bit. Alright, I guess I'll just cast Chalice for one. I mean, I just think I'm pretty screwed either way, but... May Chalice for one buys me a lot of time and I can rebuild somehow. I guess it's hard for me to rebuild against Soul God Lantern. Why is this stack it to draw cards? Oh, I should have Bizarre just to get free 1-1s. One yeah, I'm such a dumbass. Wow. Oh. oh, what a huge mistake. How laggy are you, Kang? You're like six minutes behind. People vanish, cool. Yeah, I mean, not very fair here. This ancestral Black Lotus every game. It does seem like Squee would be awesome every, like, all these games, because my games go long. All right, I guess that's something. It looks like their hand is at least a little awkward. I 
Okay, got a bench one in the yards. Don't ask for much more. And I drew collector roof. I don't think they're gonna block Route 12, all right. And if they do, it's not that bad for me. It's not like I really need that collector oof in play right away. I'm gonna have like, let me see. Yeah. Let's see what they go after. Bizarre, okay. Hmm. Um, so they have Lurus Lantern. They're probably going to chump Rutwala again if I attack with it. Pump main cast oof. What are you even talking about? They can cast Lantern if it's counter and they can cast Black Lotus. And Chad is uh, losing their mind. Yeah, the oof never dies. Drawing a backup oof could be good. Okay. <clears throat> it's almost bad to have Chalice in that case. I'm guessing that Chalice is saving me right now. Hmm, F Chalice. Please have a lot of bad cards to discard if I ever draw a Bizarre ever again. I play Mox, I have Collector in play, come tab it for mana. They're one strip mine ahead, still so just letting me know. Seems bad, I have Wasteland in my deck. Now I can maybe play Mox, because if they kill Oof, it lets me kill uh, potentially Lurus right away. It might be worth it. I'll play it, I guess. It's not a huge commitment. Can attack with Zoof? Not, I just block with third pass. Oh, you want me to bait? I could have Force of Will. Seems all scary. They counter my dismember. They absolutely have force. I mean, who knows? They kept them in. Well, now they can block with everyone and then play Iconoclast again if I attack with everyone. But they haven't been playing that way. They've been playing kind of bad, but I don't know if I should play. Uh... I guess I'll give them credit. Not sure I should, though.
Hmm. May not cast this member. It's probably not getting much better. I mean, they could have Force of Will, but at least they don't have the mana to hard cast it right now. Okay. Cradle, Cradle Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time for what, though? Anything I can cast right away? Extra Incur, no, I have Chalice. I guess I'll just say go. Keep the mana to pump Ruthwala. Gotta go for the timeout. Yeah, I mean, I understand. I know I'm a little bit ahead. I'm trying to like, I mean, I also need to play properly to make the game last as long as possible to not actually just lose. Ooh, dress down. That's pretty sick, actually. They get to sack. Uh... Hmm. They get stack bubble, I guess, and Lotus if they want to. It's not the end of the world for now. Oh, I should have pumped. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't think they're attacking. A bench mine, another collector. Oof. Besaju. Right, does Ventrine? Then they might strip thingy, but if they do, I can't cast it anyways. I can't cast my collector roof. This is good fodder if I ever draw a bazaar. Therm powder, which I could cast, but doesn't tap for mana. Need to draw one of my special lands. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's going to be close. I think they're going to get me. Question is, do I? Do I block with Rutwala? Probably. Yeah, I guess I'll lose. Don't block Arcanist. It's more clock. That's a good point. Triple block a token. I mean, I might live one more turn. I can always triple block next turn. Mm. My hand doesn't do anything. Yeah, I guess I'll lose. Can't cast anything right, man. <clears throat> man, one turn. One freaking turn. Oh, maybe the Arcanus will kill them. Or the double block. Yeah, yeah. I guess I should have maybe misstep something. 
Who won? Wow. The double block. <laughs> Ugh. Dirty gab. Welcome to the Moto Streets. Ooh, that's a nice hand. Let's see what my opponent might be playing. Donovald's. I don't know while you like have the time, and I swear it's always unintentional. Vintage looks like we could be in a dredge mirror match, like real dredge. Let's see what their history is. It dates a bit, it dates back four months, and then Legacy to play Reanimator. I mean, you're just supposed to keep Vengevine, right? Oh, wrong Mox. What am I supposed to do here? Just assume they're playing Dredge? In which case I should discard like Chalice and Force of Vigor or Chalice and Mox Ruby. Probably Mox Ruby kind of useless at this point. Force of Vigor could get all the ones at some point. Yeah, it's been a while, but I mean... Yeah, it's true. I can draw green. Yeah, but all my green sources are. Yeah, it's such a disaster if they're playing something else, though. I could hedge. I could just discard Mox. Does Chalice for zero really stub Nada in the... Uh, like nothing, nothing, nothing at all? Not even... Oops, there one chalice. All right, Vengevine. Maybe Vengevine, Mox, and Chalice, I guess. And then do I just keep my hollow one for next turn to try and bring back a Vengevine? Or do I cast it right away? I have to save it, right? But then they could grief me. They play for Wasteland. Their last version doesn't have Wasteland, but a lot of them do now. I'll just play Hollow One now, I guess. And maybe not use Bazaar next turn and then I should be able to cast a couple creatures. Uh, here we go. Good old turn one, four minute turn one. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got a pretty good turn one. I mean, game one is not good for me. I think it gets better for me after sideboards. I should have done that first, but let's see. Can I even get lucky here? I have two really bad cards. Hmm. 
have all the really bad cards. One I could keep. Do I keep a green card to like get to a hollow one at some point? Is that Basagio really gonna save me? Probably not. I wonder if I should just force a bigger right away. I guess it's not a winning strat. I'd probably scoop. Hey, Masivo. Hey, everyone. Could probably scoop them up, given I'm behind on time. Okay, I see her saying. They're saying there's a small chance. I does very dead. I have all that. All right. So they might bring in ley line. They can bring in ley line and wasteland and strip line. Oh, and endurance and surgical. And maybe Basaju. And Collector is obviously pretty bad. And Force of Vigor is. Okay. You don't really care about ley line that much. That chalice can go obviously too. I could do that or I could have some force of biggers. Oh right, missed up as well. So I could just side roll like that. It's like force of vigor or blood gas kind of. I think maybe force of vigor is a bit better. Does Void Mirror hurt a hundred percent? Um you have force of vigor, I guess. That doesn't work. I don't know. But Void Mirror is probably pretty good. Maybe he's supposed to keep Walla instead of Benjamin on the first once upon a time. Guaranteed beater on the come. I think I'm supposed to try and get lucky. I think I'm supposed to try and get lucky. And keep the Vengevine. We think they're dredge. I don't think an extra root wall is cutting it for me. I mean, maybe if I had like Cradle and Hex Drinker in hand, you know, something along these lines. I could go for a little more consistency and but I think just keeping bench fine is good. Played a similar dredge matchup the other day to Cyborg Games fell okay. Another thing is possible blood gas better or hex drinker is better than blood gas. Vintage, yeah, vintage is pretty sweet. Every time I play, I really enjoy it. Plus, it's a format that's. I'm sure there's a lot of innovating to do, or at least a lot of tuning, you know. Right, not as. The lists are probably not as tuned as in all the other formats. Crop rotation. Um, I mean, you have to have 
untapped green and crop rotation sounds really hard to put together. That powder. Powder into bazaar feels good, man. Mini archetype diversity, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this deck you could build like a hundred different ways. All right, Benchvine, our second bazaar. It's got to be Benchvine. I'm supposed to just wait a turn there. I never know. Okay, so I probably don't have to worry too much about sideboard stuff. I can discard Vaseju. Vaseju doesn't seem that great. Vengevine. Be a hex drinker and a Basaju and save Rutwala. Maybe I should have waited. Maybe I should have waited a turn. But then white lead on Basaju kind of sucks. Vine drinker Basaju, that's what I'm thinking. Could discard both Basaju, I guess. I want to hard cast the Hex Rinker next turn, though. Any monk chats? <laughs> Behopsy. Thanks for the resub. Welcome back. Hey, Cherry. Speaking of bros, all the Brits, all my UK people. You too, I know, Cherry. Just chilling. Very easy to know. Did you know Saltari Monk is a monk, but Saltari Priest is not a priest? What is it, like Saltari Soldier or something? Saltari Priest is a soldier, probably. Cleric. Creature, Saltari Cleric. Altari Monk Cleric, interesting. Why do you think the... Why are they disparaging uh, priests? Priests not good enough for them? None of it all here in Hardcast Endurance. Let's see. Discard Rootwallow. Discard Baseju. Discard Bazaar. Rootwallow, Hollow One, bring back Benchvine. Play Cradle. You could Baseju the Bazaar, yeah. And then surgical. Air draw step. It's probably a better play actually. It does get rid of endurance. I could go cradle. 
Visage Bazaar. Cast Sex Drinker. Cast Hollow One. Let's save Hex. Because Hex Ranker is going to do a number on them. They might have Force of Will, I guess. Don't need Hex. Yeah, I don't know. Hex Ranker is kind of nice, but. Maybe endurance is more important. Oh, let's see. If I do this, I still want to go Buseju Bazaar, Draw Step Extraction. They could have. They need Force of Will or Noxious Revival. They could have Noxious for their Bazaar. That buys them a bit of time. And then basically the question is: is would I rather have the Hex Drinker that I can level up over two turns or slow them down with Endurance. I feel like Hex Drinker is just better than slowing them down with Endurance. I don't know, they're both pretty good. Because this is four mana Cradle. How fast did it kill you? Endurance. All right, I guess I'll discard. I guess I'll discard endurance. And do I want to attack and lose mana? Yeah, I mean, probably. Surgical, so important to keep, yeah. By Surgical Bazaar, they basically lose. They don't have Noxious Revival. Wait. Conceded the game? Why would you dredge and concede there? Does dredge try and get lucky? Is that better than trying to draw a bazaar? Should I have misstep actually for revival? It's probably worth it, right? Their latest list only has one, but the list I've seen on it have more. I should probably have misstep in my deck. Probably better than force of vigor, honestly. I feel like Wasteland Surgical is such a huge part of my plan. First of Vigor is pretty mediocre. I don't even think they should bring in Leyland against me. I mean, it's probably fine, but it's not. Uh, you can beat Leylands pretty easily. Do they run Beseju? No, they don't play Mana. They just play Bazaar. They're not in the business of spending mana to cast spells. They're not interested. Why no Hogak? Yeah, basically trying to rely less on Graveyard. Do feel like Squee could be good. Like, I kind of wish these Blood Gas were Squee. Maybe a few of the other cards. Does this hand do anything? It's pretty. I have all my mocks. I kind of feel bad to play a vintage deck where you're like not that excited half the time when you have mocks in your opening hand. Oh no, they got a free seven with spatter. I'm jealous. They got another free seven with spider. So jealous. Feels like better than keeping seven. Just exiling seven with spider. Feels like you're cheating the system. They kept seven. Um I mean if I had a surgical I would keep. 
Do that in search to bizarre? No. This hand sucks. Damn. Now we're kind of talking. I mean, it might be able to pop up, but I mean, I'll do too well if I go down to five. I mean, it's not very good, but at least it's a plan. Funny. Seems good, right? To uh, hard cast Ventrine. I guess I'll offer to trade. One for civil exiled, one blue card. Why oh, exiled Baghdad before draw? Oh, I give them one more. Uh... Yeah, I guess I give them one more draw step for force and whatnot. True. Yeah, I should have. All right, that was a mistake. Hmm. I'd add another one anyway. Yeah, maybe I'll let them draw that Noxious Revival. Never know. I needed Mental Misstep. Which registered draw step. Oh yeah, it's true. I just had it all. So we know to have another bizarre in hand. Could go after the hollow one. It's kind of bad though. I can just block it. All right, I guess got to start somewhere, right? Oh, it might be on top. But they can just draw it if I let them on. I still can't let them on tap, right? Well, that's bad. And I just have to walk. Oh, and they're getting back Silver Mood Ghoul, and they have Bazaar. Oof, I don't have a dredger, I guess. It's the one silver lining right now. How many players that turn and get 149? Eight rounds. Huh. Well, that sucks. I'm actually dead on board, right? If I... Don't play it. We are very, very dodged. Uh, I don't think I died this turn, so. A technically I can hit Miracle Bazaar of Double Root Walla. Well, 
opium yeah just a bit just a tiny bit of copium fine fine you shame me shame me into conceding <laughs> i really want to just click that powder button but i guess i'll keep another lower stack I know that Loris was so popular. I don't have thingy. No. I could even draw Hex Drinker here. Hex Drinker, Root Walla, Hollow One. Wow, what a hand. Just discard Vengevine and two Root Walla. Or am I supposed to discard blood ghasts? Discarding blood ghasts doesn't make a ton of sense. Can discard it next turn. I'm just double checking. Sorry if I'm a bit slow. That I'm not missing anything obvious. I'm pretty and I'm an expert of like missing the obvious discard or and try to root voila, root voila. Mox, chalice for zero. My hand's just so good. All I had to do was say this hand can't have a good opening hand. It just wanted to prove me wrong. We got a force of will, it was mental misstep. Or to flow share, okay. Up to 24 life, no big deal. Blood Ghast, Theron Powder, Force of Vigor, pretty straightforward, I guess. And the question is, do I play Hex Drinker Pump? Or do I Pump Root Walla? I could save Hex Drinker to have a creature to cast. I think this is a bit better. They're getting turned on by what coveted jewels. <clears throat> Pumping root wall means future blood gas. I only have two blood gas in my deck. I'll get them to 10 in no time. Yeah, coveted jewels seems like a frustrating deck to play against. That's a good draw. All right, the question is, do I attack with everyone or do I cure a root follow back? I potentially miss out on one damage. All right, they conceded. I think I was going to lean towards keeping a root wallow back to give me time. I think we need a sideboard to have four dismembers. Let's see, Force of Vigor, pretty weak. Chalice, I think, is probably pretty good. It was good for me, even though it didn't save me. And then Basaju is kind of bad. I 
Yeah, I'd feel it though. Um, let's see. Caracas probably not awful. I mean, I could go like a little fair plan and try to just nickel and dime them and could have maybe these three cards. But if they get it to a point where they're casting Lurus, even if they have to play it every turn, they don't care that much. Just so awkward to have Mox Ruby, um, the both Mox on the drawing, the Chalice, and the Collectors. It's pretty awkward. What are they playing? They're playing Jeskai, I think. Just Sword to Blow, Sheriff's Cantrips, Arcanist Lurus. Problem is that the Endurance, it's, it's hard to get to free mana against them. But the Sage is kind of bad. But just mana is, is kind of good. All right, let's try that. That's a bit greedy, but let's see. All right, pretty easy powder. And not a great hand, I guess. Okay, well. I was going to say the only thing we're really worried about is Spitting Needle. It's kind of a dagger. I bored out literally all my answers, even my Basajo. Alright, I guess I'm... Uh... We hard casting. <clears throat> They didn't mulligan, but I'm not sure it's going to matter that much. Yeah, Vine first. Okay, they want to force it. I mean, they might force Black Lotus at this point. Well, I'm going to be pretty happy to draw all these Endurance now. Um, I could easily have a Cantrip. I wonder if I should attack with Rootwalla. I don't want to just attack with Ventrine, maybe. It might not be super trivial for him to like kill a Rutwala and have a blue cantrip. I don't know why everyone wants me to attack with both. I mean, if they have cantrip plus removal, I probably lose anyways. But if they just have cantrip. It's a pretty big deal to like be able to block. They top one though, so I'm probably screwed. I wonder if they have um I wonder if they have Urza Saga in their deck or they just play Pipping Needle for value. I'm kidding off thinking about it. But this snap top was preordained and now they're thinking forever. So it's all confusing. Maybe they have too many good options. Maybe they're debating whether it's worth it to preordain. All right, please break. Maybe they already have it. They just want to see the bottom two. Could still have it because it tramples anyway, so they could wait for me to pump before swording. Maybe they were debating between sword twice or preordain plus sword. 
Ja. I don't know. I mean, so I mean, same deal here. They have sword, so I can make them have another removal spell, and just cast Hollow One. Let's say go with two blockers. Put them down to eight. They attack sword. I guess I'm just going to say go. I mean, this is bad, but I think it's bad either way. Damn, I wasted such a great hand just because that turn one needle. Iteration into Ancestral Recall. Not bad. A lot of cards. Man, one dismember is what I needed. Dismember is so good. Should just be four dismember in the sideboard. Like the best card every time. Oh, all right on time. I have Lurus soon. Lurus Arcanist. One, two, three. Put Lurus, cast Lurus. Protect it from instance. Is one endurance going to save me? Probably not. Wait, did I tap my mana like a. Okay, I did not. I'm actually surprised it in Wasteland. Uh... They didn't waste landing Yavi Maya here. That would have been if they wasteland Yavi Maya, that's like minus all my mana. I think they messed up. I mean it doesn't matter as much if you have force of will. Guess I need some Basaju in. Some mana is nice, and I need an answer to Needle. I need to rip an Endurance to have a shot. Let's trip mine. We need to have Ragavan to cast Slurus now. Can strip mine Tundra, but. All right, I might just got endurance. Feel like too little, too late, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Could cut collector oof, or I could trim collector oof. And I kept Ragavan, yeah. Ragavan on the play, why not? The misers. Endurance or Basaju? Cut something else. Blood Gas Collector, oof. Hex Drinker. Endurance just seems so solid against them. I'll do two Basaju, I guess. I think Basaju is good against only Needle, and they probably have like one or two. It does make casting my Otter Endurance easier. Like our Oof could be medium. Depends how many artifacts they have. Could like trim one. Could trim a Hex Drink or two. Could do something like that. Let's 
no serum powder, no uh, no bazaar. Could gamble. Take my thirty three percent or looks good. All of one double root walla chalice. I might have Penderel Haven, and then I just cry. I could stagger it. Yeah, probably just bottom Yavi Maya. I agree. Ditchawala. Well, ditching Walla is kind of stupid when I'm going to activate Bazaar on turn one. That makes very little sense. Now, once upon a time, in something better than Yavimaya. Can get a bench mine. Could just hope they don't have Penral Haven. I mean, I guess you play this deck here just all in, right? Just take Hollow One and Prage. Yes, I don't have to. I am so good. Could legit stagger. Yeah, I understand staggering is bad against other stuff, but. The stagger mean, yeah, not play all the creatures this turn. I mean, problem is if I don't play this turn, I could keep one maybe. What I should they play? They probably have the land, the land that make uh, their creature cast. Uh, should I keep one? Can I rebuild? Because turn on Tabernacle also slows them down. Draw up to three cards. Draw two. I mean, this is probably good enough to win if they don't have Tabernacle, right? Can you beat a tabernacle? Maybe. I mean, Vengevine comes back and Hollow One. I feel like if they don't have tabernacle, I'll just win anyways. Like their best plays, like Lance Word on Vengevine. And then they go down to 10, and then I cast a Hollow One. I guess I'll just hold one. I didn't have the chalice for zero, but it was the chalice of zero on top of everything else. Seems hard for them to go totally nuts. Well, they didn't slam it. Ah, they might have both. But if they had both, I was screwed either way. Because I didn't have them dead this turn. I mean, almost no one would do that. There's almost no way to have both, right? They would definitely play temp. I mean, unless they they know my hand. It's like uber sus to play Wasteland first. All right. Well, I got scared for nothing. I think my play was pretty good, honestly. Especially with like dismember with chalice for zero and dismember in hand. Just so hard for them to to win a fair game without Tabernacle. 
All right, I'll keep this average hands. Yep. Uh. Could go Yavi Maya Oof. I got this force of vigor in this matchup. They have a lot of artifacts. But I'm not sure if they have force of vigor enough. I don't think they like can really kill an oof eater. Oh, they do play uh or is a saga though. I don't this card force of vigor. Keep Wasteland, keep Yabimaya, keep the two creatures. I could discard Hex Ranker, but then I'm never bringing back a Vengevine if I do that. I could discard Yabimaya and hope to draw Cradle. Yeah, I have Waste for Saga. Is that crazy to discard Force of Vigor? It's kind of a ballsy play. Because if they have a super good start, I might just die with... They have, like, Wasteland. If I keep Oof and they have Wasteland. I feel like I have to pick Oof for... Alright. I mean, keeping Hex Ranker over for so Vigor might just be nonsense. I guess I'm, yeah. Oh, second oof. What's better, collector oof or wastelands? Probably just wastelands. Wasteland is kind of worse against Urza Saga. Maybe they could have Force of Will. They might have Force Hollow one though. And I don't think you ever want to activate Bazaar here. Gold Gamblish. I'm not playing around Stifle. I don't know if you're trolling or not. Am I getting troll chat? Should I be playing around Stifle? Ah. Uh, well, I have kind of an interesting decision. Do I Bazaar? Bring back French Find Hollow One. They're mostly a fair deck, but they do have Tinker. I think game one they just Tinker for the combo though. And after a sideboard they can Tinker for Yeah, I don't know. Oof is worse against Force of Will. We also get lucky with Bazaar hit like Wasteland Root Walla or something. I mean, Oof seems very good. Let me see how many ways they have to deal with an Oof. Basically, very few ways, just Force of Will. The Hollow Online's much better. I mean, either way, seems pretty hard for me to lose, given their starts. I mean, I could also just draw a Cradle, get the best of both worlds. Lock is the same as Oof and Hollow One. Is that true? 
I get back to Vengevine. Because I get to cast Hex Drinker and Hollow One. Alright, I guess I'm just going to try and kill them. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so I can discard Oof, Bazaar. Um, one card short of having it all. Yeah, Cradle would have been the nuts. Force of Vigor is bad against Force of Will. Hollow One, Hex Drinker, Attack. And then if I have to keep one between Oof and Force of Vigor. Not sure which one's better. I mean, they could just have Sphinx in their main deck, I guess. And then I'll lose to Tinker. It's just hard not knowing exactly what's in their deck. Maybe my land was greedy. Maybe if I just play Oof, it's just exponentially harder for them to win the game. Especially with another one next turn. I look pretty uh, happy to sag that land. Okay, they're topping first. I like that, I guess. Okay. That worked out. Okay, after sideboard, they get Tabernacle, Fifting Needle, Jailer, they have Hall Reacher. I think I need this member. <clears throat> like, how is I sideboarding in this matchup? <clears throat> I want everything against them. I guess not everything. I want this member and Basaju. Can we board out Hex Drinker? Board out Chalice on the draw. Chalice on the draw, pretty mid. What is the answer to Sphinx? I don't think they have Sphinx, but F4 Basaju. Good trim. They don't play Wastelands. Could trim lands to bring in in Basaju, but it's kind of nice against some of the other stuff. Could trim a Yavimaya, could only do free Basaju, could trim a Force of Vigor. Let me just cut the Blood Cast, because could trim a Hex Drinker. Blood Cast never seem like they do. Blood Cast, it's actually okay against them, because they actually have a deck that doesn't. Deal with blood pass very well. I think Force of Vigor against the Saga deck. Kind of sus. Same for Busaju. I guess I'll cut the blood gas, sure. Does this will have more green cards? Maybe I'll do free Busaju and all the Hex Drinker. <coughs> tinker, but they're, they have one Tinker, and I don't know what their Tinker stuff even is in this matchup. What are the odds of not having Powder of Bazaar? It's like 40%. It's under 50%, right? Eight cards. Because four cards, having a, one of your four odds is 40%. So having one of your eight odds is probably like 65 plus. Thrice upon a time. Can I just put them on the stack all at the same time and then... I just guess to cast them all for free. Is that how it works? Oof. I mean, I guess I'm keeping. Not even that good of a bizarre deck when 
This member is probably one too many. I mean, death plus her storm to lead was blue mox. Kind of hit their blue. I guess I just force a vigor. I think the blue mana. I mean, if, if they have Fluster Storm, they're a genius. They baited me. Force of foam, okay. Wow. What a draw. What a freaking draw. That is insane. That is actually only good card I could have drawn. Can they get anything good? They have no cards in hand. I mean, I doubt there's anything good they can get, right? Or get a needle, I'm just gonna kill you as my two two. They have no cards left. I have a lot of like creatures I can draw. I'm gonna have dismember the oops going all the way. Come on, hex drinker. One time dealer. Okay, great draw. This might as well play the bizarre. No. Okay, get another spell at least. Wrong root walla. Yellow what skilled player, but that is not normally. This very, very insane. They need to check him PC in game. Maybe he not cheating, but maybe he using the game deficit. And this can't seem on game screen. He needs to check up. It's pretty good copy pasta. I don't know where you found that. Kenzo, or if you came up with it on your own, but thanks for the resub. Appreciate it. Classic creature oofs. Yeah, I mean oof oof going all the way. Not sure how to get out of this mess. Oof, there it is. Oof, there it is. It's like hoof, hoof in vintage cube. Unlucky, life load is draw. Oh, I can discard Rutual to hand size next turn. So I guess maybe playing Bazaar was a mistake because I could have discarded to hand size one turn earlier. That's kind of interesting, actually. It might be better than the upside of Yavi Maya thingy. What a game. Welcome to Vintage. I can't even force a will or misstep because you're at one. <laughs> Despair. Alright. Mm. Alright, I need a deck for tomorrow. Uh, I need Ha <laughs> ha